We're here with Legend Creatures, a surprisingly good, just like casual-esque auto battler that's been on Steam for a little bit. It came out March of last year. Uh, I was unfortunately not translated at all during that time. Um, but sometime six or seven, I think a few months later, six or seven months in the past, um, it got an English translation. And so I played through it and I was like, this game is pretty good. So we've, I played this game a little bit, but we're going to hop right in. <laughs> it, this one's a little, I'm going to be honest. This one's a little more rough, mostly because, I mean, I say rough. Actually, this game, so first of all, this game's real cheap. It's only five bucks on Steam. Um, and you'll notice there's still some translations that are not fully there. <laughs> but you can get the gist of it through sheer perseverance. Um, so you start off by choosing who you're going to be fighting with and fighting for. I don't know who this new guy is. I haven't played him yet. Uh, mostly because I can't read. And I don't know what it says. <laughs> they, I'm assuming I could spend some time and use uh, certain programs to actually like get a general idea. But we're just going to skip the new character for now. Uh, we're going to get a wolf. Uh, so it's kind of, we get a goblin and a sprout. And then here, you basically choose what you're going in to the battle. For the most part, don't worry about it. Also, <laughs> you might see some familiar looking items. Assets tend to be all similar across some of these games. Like, look, there's the Serrated Ripper. There's the Necrophage. <laughs> there's the Regenerative, uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> so, you start your hand with a small selection of units that you've started chosen. So, we've got a Maiden, two Goblins, and a Pixie. And also, a random item. So, there's a Thorn Shield upon being... And in, I think all the items, for the most part, are translated. Um... But we're going to plop this person down here. And then we're going to put a piece of equipment on. You can have three equipments per character and they just pull right off. Or you can, yeah, you can drag and drop them to where. Another thing to note is at the beginning of each round and each time you like level up per se, you get to choose a little effect here. You'll notice some of mine say higher levels. Um, I wanted to like restart completely from fresh but I could not find where the saved game data is. And, um, <laughs> so you'll know I have, uh, I've picked some particular skills that I think are pretty useful. Uh, like this one, you gain an additional 16% experience at the end of each uh, round. Uh, it's very important to level your guys up or, and for us to level up as well. Cause as we level our team side grows. So we'll start here. You'll see we have a vaguely Slay the Spire-esque pathway to follow. Um, and then we'll just go right into the first battle. It should be a pretty easy win. Starts off very simple. And slowly the game upgrades. So now you'll see at the end of each round, depending on where our guys are, they either hear 30% here or 60% here. You can't upgrade that, uh, but we're just gonna plop another Maiden in. And each each race has their own kind of little quirks going on, and you will only fight the race that you've picked. So we've picked Maidens, Goblins, Pixies, and a, a whole slew of other people. We will only fight those guys. We won't ever see the random, um, you know, race we don't know anything about. Uh, so for the next skill, we're gonna get more gold. Uh, gold will let us do a few things later on. You'll see more when we come to a shop. Um, elite battle. Just one little guy. <laughs> so we got a little wolf dog. We'll continue on to now a little more dangerous fight. But still, we, we have an item. For the most part, this item will uh, will carry us through. I feel... <laughs> I feel sar sarcasm. 
I also found my stash of cough drops. So I should hopefully not wheeze sometimes. Okay, finally. <laughs> so the, the good part of this game is when you get three creatures of the same, we can upgrade them to a new tier. So we have a few choices. We can get a female warrior or an archer. Uh, I like the archer, so we're going to evolve to the archer because we like attack speed. Oh, uh, the ring about that. Every At the end of every battle, if you're a player, if you have a character on the field, they'll get 30% of their HP back. Um, if they're in this stack down here, they'll get 60% of their HP back. I believe... <clears throat> yes. Oh, uh, no, that's not it. Somewhere in here is a... We might grab that haste effect. Yeah, the first aid ability, which lets us heal a little bit more at the end of every battle. I mean, I'm tempted... So, uh, this are, these are like general ones down here. And then you have unit-specific ones. I've upgraded the maidens a little bit because I tend to get them a lot. Uh, but basically, it's a specialized buff to choose instead of like a generic general buff. And then these are the various effects that you can choose. I've beat through this game just once, so I'm not like super knowledgeable on like the best builds. Uh, but let's just add, you know, increase attack damage. We have an archer who tends to hit a lot. And, uh, hmm. <clears throat> let's bring a goblin out here. We're gonna give him this shield since it'll increase his HP. Um, you'll notice on the right, I have yet to bring it up, but we do have a thing called HP and that will slowly drain as our guys actually die. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll see that more come to effect later. So this is our first... And also these guys are color coded, which is nice. So like a white unit is just the initial tier. Um, yeah, and here's the regen effect happening. A, uh... yes, yes, yeah, similar to Astronauts Morale. I believe, I can't remember exactly, cause like I said, it's been a little bit, but I think the larger, ooh, got some good stuff here. Uh, the bigger units have more morale loss. All right, what do we got? Resurrects and restores 50% of max HP occurs one time per battle. That's very good. And magic power and cooldown reduction. So we don't have anyone that could use this. Maybe this pixie? No. But they don't even deal magic damage. I think our pixie does magic damage. We'll bring this here like so. Uh, also, so far, we haven't got to too many attack ranges, but you'll see on these, positioning ends up being more important later on um, as we, we dive deeper into the battle. At these first few rounds, it's just kind of building up uh, your little army. <clears throat> Hoping not to accidentally die. Hoping for these combos. The game, yeah, I mean, so the game's normally, I think, five bucks right now. It goes on sale for three bucks all the time. For that cost, I mean, you play it like one run a day, eh, just fun. So now we're going to be looking for a tank. So we kind of have a DPS coming. Uh, let's see, which one's tank here? It's 90 defense. Keep, there's a back button somewhere. 9133. And more physical defense, less magical. But you also this guy also healed himself. So we'll go this way. We'll go this uh this king of the beasts. King of the wasteland, if I can use the interface correctly. And with that, uh that's the game telling us we don't have the morale. <laughs> or the, the team comp size. 
will uh, go like this. And onward we go. Finally having a small little choice here. Uh, I do believe what you fight determines sometimes drops and outcomes. Uh, so we do want more wolves. This is a bigger plant. <clears throat> Yes, so like we fought, you know, an upgrade plant. We got a plant. It's, I believe it somewhat correlates. I'm not fully certain. We do have another upgrade here. <clears throat> now, we're trying to get the tougher choices because I think we should specialize into the, the maiden since I have it leveled and I have a maiden. Uh, but I think we'll probably be going defense, both defenses. Uh, to no surprise, keeping your guys at full HP is, gets harder and harder as the game goes on. So having the, both the stats to kill people quickly and uh, not take damage yourself is pretty important. And at the end of each run, you do get the little points to upgrade. So you can slowly get the way going. We do have harder modes as well. You have to beat the game first. Uh, I have done it once. But I didn't want to play on it the first time since <laughs> the game is very hard. And of course, the, the main gist of each monster tends to be the afflictions they do. For example, the snail inflicts blinded. Hard to hit, of course. If you guys do have any interest, as always, the uh, link to the store is in the description below. Good, we got another maiden. Uh, and we're going to get to our first rust and our shop coming up soon. But you'll notice this these next battles are going to be a little spooky. Because they have two fully upgraded guys. I mean, we do as well. That's why it's a little bit easier on the first, first few rounds. And it will pick up. <laughs> the final, the end game gets pretty uniquely intense. We got another wolf. That's pretty good. Okay, rest. Uh, so, can't read this, but you do get full healed. And then I believe he says something along the lines of... Um, you can give him items, I believe. Yeah, and he'll give you money. And that's, he get takes three items. Uh, so we're just gonna sell this one thing because it wasn't doing anything for us. And we have shop. Uh, and you'll see here, there's some good purchases to be had. We have 400 gold. So, let's check these out. The immune to the negative effects is pretty good. Ah. <laughs> the Zephyr. <laughs> we will buy the Zephyr. Uh, so most buffs in this game have stacks. So for example, increase attack speed by 20 for just having one hasted. But further stacks increase the attack speed by 2% per. So like this thing on our fast attacking archer will be amazing. Uh, this down here, I believe, is life points. So if you're running a little bit short on life, you can grab this. But we're actually going to grab the Jinsen fruit. You might think, why am I not grabbing these female warriors? Because we have the female, we have the archer. But the way, there's more, there's not just, you know, one upgrade. You guys don't go down just one upgrade path. Um, I think we can actually give you, shit, I actually mean to sell you that guy. <laughs> well, too late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's get this fruit, buddy. Oh, the game's yelling at us again. So what's uh, what's our little team comp look like right now? We've got our frontline tank who bleeds. That's what these hemorrhage do. Uh, also gets rid of armor, so that's nice. This guy shoots some venom. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's not as good. Where the where the true strength of this bow lie? I mean, one haste on normal attacks is amazing, 
but plus 60 attack, plus two attack range and attack speed. Once we get this maiden fully upgraded to whatever, I can't remember what her name is next. She's going to go crazy. Uh, but we have this Jinjin fruit that is has a range of one. So he will plop around here, hopefully. But he does, he does two important things. One, he has some poison going on. It's whatever. It, poisons, I haven't like quite correlated the exact best. Like how many poisons are great. But what is great is this heals all friendly units two squares around for 2% of their max HP will very much save us later on. Mm. This way. Because this guy's already, look at that. <laughs> I have a rough idea of what all these guys do. I think this one's better. Yeah, this game is called Legend Creatures. It is a um, is a Chinese, I believe Chinese game that was translated into uh, English, but it is a auto battler in the same veins of like TFT and auto chess. And basically we're slowly upgrading our guys, combining combos of three to go to uh, a higher tier here. I believe we want the mage. Yes. I wish I didn't sell that magic item now though. <laughs> um, Let's see, what do we want to upgrade? Honestly, what's really, we'll get the armor. It was really nice. That music's like, I, I I guess I say I never mentioned the music, but now I mention the music all the time. <laughs> but this music is so chill and relax. Ooh, elite battle. So uh, elite battle, same vein of uh, like other elite battles and other various games. Harder, as we see by four two star i'm gonna call them now units compared to our um i guess we have four plus one yeah dude this game's super chill highly recommend like i said it's five bucks on steam um it has mod workshop but most of them are not in english so yeah the um I'm surprised the game got an update like two months ago, which I was surprised for. But uh, the English translation was kind of slapped on. <laughs> okay, let's get another archer. So I'm just glad I can play this game to read it. Ooh, what do we got? We got a serrated ripper. Ooh, with the hemorrhage stacking, that'll be pretty nice. Or... When the ability damages enemy units, inflict five stacks of poison. We're gonna pick up this. I think actually, do we get both? We get both. Let's go. So of course, give our goblin mage. I, we don't have anything to do with this poison exploding yet, um, but he does cast magic missile, which will stack on poison, and then give you the serrated ripper, <laughs> because. Uh, Cause we stack hemorrhage on this guy. <laughs> uh, and since we do have another archer lady. Yeah, that, that's what I've read as well. Um, thankfully there's, oh, what is it called? I think I've, I think I have it somewhere. Yeah, so there is a, a s internet thing you can use called the Yandex or Yandex, which you can take like screenshots of your computer and try to like vaguely translate it. This elite battle. Uh, but they, they, they have said they aren't gonna do too much more in terms of support, but they also did say they weren't gonna do an English translation and then the English translation came out. So 
I'm not holding any, uh... Okay, One-Eye does a ton of damage. Every three basic attacks attack an extra time. I'm not holding my breath, but... And I believe the Octopus is like a tank. Yeah, all units within... Are all friendly units within one square gain 30 defense? We're gonna continue with the tank. And then we put him here and everyone gets super strong. Yeah, it is a, um, what was it, was it full? I think if you search your index, Y-A-N-D-E-X. Yeah, I'll put the link I have that I use to translate stuff. Um, hopefully you guys got that. <laughs> okay, we're using everything. Let's get on. Let's grab. I might get the hasted effect since we kind of have it kind of building. I might also grab the heal effect. Well, we might grab the heal when, uh... Oh, is it really? That That's what I use to... It's called Yandex Translate is probably what I should have said. I didn't know that. I just was recommended this when I was trying to figure out how to translate things without, like, hooking something into the game, like text hooker and stuff. Hmm. I think I... Let's go with this hasted effect. Seems fun. Oh, our archers gonna die. Oh, we're gonna see our first kind of death. Ah, yes. So when she respawns back, she spawns back at full HP, but is uh hits us. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with the fairy here. We're gonna keep going with some more hemorrhage as well. We actually dip this archer away as well. Not super worth. Uh, the reason I want this lady, more hemorrhage stacks, and also long range. So until the enemies start getting scary. Actually, um, we didn't grab the human, which does go into like a thief near the very end. That was the explosion. We'll evolve to an octopus. So, we won't actually have any teleporting backline. Or we shouldn't. There might be one or two. It, it kind of does. <laughs> kind of falls in that path. It's, it's just simple and fun. It's just a little enjoyable experience. I uh, I was trying to look to see if anyone had played this game that I had seen before, um, but I hadn't noticed anybody. Do we want all these things? I think we do. We have 400 gold. That should be able to buy us. Yes. Was this? Uh, don't care for the Ring of Frost. Ah, yes. <laughs> Give me this. And then we'll pick up another Jensen fruit. Because he's actually, if we get one more sprout, we will have uh, the next evolution. First of all, congrats. I don't know what this says, but we have a boss fight. <laughs> uh, and the, the notable thing of the boss fight is a snow maiden. Yeah. I mean, I never heard of, uh, I don't even know how to say it. Beely, Beely. I'd never heard of it until uh, I got into VTubing.
Uh, how do we want to... I think we position this fine. These one-eyes are going to be a very annoying. I like this. I think this should be good. This uh, snow main is a bit scary. But... Looks like our guy is just too tanky to deal with it. Also, so... <laughs> So many snails! <laughs> and I believe, yes, we get to see the next tier, which is either this tentacle, um, whose laser penetrates all enemies in a straight line, dealing a ton of magic damage, or we could get this conch octopus, which is just just a tank. <laughs> I think we're going to go with the conch. And then we're going to swap this guy kind of out like so. I was hoping we'd get our this person first, but uh but alas, we've been given the magic conch shell instead. We'll increase magic defense now. And then for our last one, I think we'll grab the healing effect. Yes, also now the enemies just start having the three-star units. Have they? It's so hard to follow everything nowadays. There's just so much going on. Especially once... <laughs> Ooh. Oh, uh, let's go this one. Once you dive into a different part of a, oh, like a whole different world, it's like, it's literally like a whole different world. The maiden, perfect. Oh, we increased team size. I'm kind of hesitant to actually put somebody on the team size again. Um, I think I might do for this one though. Just get another Jensen. Cause what starts happening is your lower tier units. Yeah, I, you know what this game, this game, this game is pretty cute. Uh, your lower tier units start being very injured. Uh, let's get another Jensen and upgrade our Jensen to, I think we want the Nymph. Gotcha. Yes. And we get a cool. Yeah. So the Nymph spawns a Jensen fruit every 13 seconds. <laughs> so we get some fun effects with that. Uh, we actually don't need her to be here. Oh no, not my fairy. Don't do it. Oh, dude, our, look at our archer. Look at our archer go. We're so close to getting her upgraded too. It's going to be so good. With the stacking haste effect, ooh, this guy, the pyro goblin. Cast three fireballs. <laughs> this is going to be interesting to see. Oh, there they go. They're like little axes. Dude, our, uh, our conch octopus. Kind of hurt. Right. Ooh, we got some items. What do we got here? Uh, the cloth of life. Just HP. Sounds good to me. Oh, the bonfire cape. Inflicts burning. To everyone nearby. Dude, this guy's gonna be <laughs> an absolute tank. Ooh, what are you? The tentacle mage. Okay, she's the uh the one-eyed upgraded. Basic attacks also deal 100 percent of magic damage. That's pretty bad. Yo, a free Jensen. Did we lose anybody here? Now we're still, I'm still fine with this six stack that we got going. The enemies have yet to, uh... <laughs> he just run, dude, he takes no damage. Look at this guy. He's just, he just eats. Yo, there are so many pixies. Get another fairy. All right, and last upgrade we'll get is HP. Cause that'll be the additional heal 
is really nice. Wait. And now enemies are starting to get a little bit more scary because they're actually getting items. I mean, they're not like optimally placed at all, but it's, uh, it's starting to get a little bit spooky. I, mean, I guess we haven't actually filled out our team yet. <laughs> we still have two more slots, but I think it might kill us if we put any more weak people out. I mean, this guy takes no damage. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Archer. And then evolve our Archer. Probably into the Wind Ranger. My favorite Dota 2 hero. Hemorrhage stacking or... Ooh, we can get some crit. That's a 70% crit chance. We don't really have any AoE yet. What's your... I think I might grab the AoE. Look at the range. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, we can grab... Grab some more fairies now. Like, stack them off in the corner. Since we are starting to... I guess we just overwhelm the enemy at this point. Our Calamari is riding high because he doesn't take any damage, which is very, very nice. We have a big archer. He does a ton of damage. Oh, she also attacks a million attacks a second. Uh, we can sell these guys to him. We get un we could get another <laughs> another arrow another haste arrow Let's see that'd be we don't we have the goblin mage Ooh, we could get this though let's grab the the golden wand this. great chance in attack speed or you get more haste more haste sounds fun. I don't know if you can actually stack items and we'll buy a goblin. Yep. <laughs> Let's get another mage. Yeah. Some of the fights start getting pretty, pretty intense. Where are we? Also, picking your battle starts to be a little more important. But look at her go. And we've got the next tier here. Let's see, we can get Snow Maiden, deals 150 magic to all frozen enemies. Increasing the damage for every stack of frozen. Or, the blood fairy i think we'll get the blood fairy because we have a, a little bit of a hemorrhage synergies going on and we'll, we'll smack another goblin mage in here <laughs> you know what i'm a big fan for it i haven't watched i mean i haven't watched tv in years like legitimate tv like and i don't really count like if you're sitting at a doctor's office or something and um you know, the TV's on. Like, I haven't sat down and been like, I'm gonna watch what's on the news today. I personally appreciate it. It's also, like, not a lot of people have still done it still. Because, like, I think of the people who I work with. And for the most part, None of them, they're all older than me, but none of them do any of the stuff with gaming that I do, or like even watch things on YouTube. Which 
Try your luck out. Sounds fun. We got a free one eye and a sprout. Okay. Ooh, a goblin warrior. Not good. What's this? Gain attack power equal to 3% of your HP. I think it might be time to swap these out a little bit. What the vest of immortal? Yeah, we can give this to you and give this to you. And 3% of your HP is like a hundred some damage. <laughs> What is this? The Dirk of the Darkened. I think once I learned... Once I... What's like... Like, I don't... I cannot for the life of me remember how I stumbled upon Twitch. Like, I really wish I... Was that... Someone just... I'm trying to remember when Twitch showed up, what made me go that way. It had to have been somebody I was watching on YouTube had um, said, hey, I'm streaming here. Check this out. But I cannot remember. Let's grab another Jensen. Keep our heels up. Oh, could have mine have been Dota? Mine could have been Dota. They could have been hosting a game of some sort. Are we going to finally upgrade our King of the Beast? We are. Okay, we're looking for a hemorrhage. Uh, crease for non-ally. No, thank you. Or Cerberus. Yes. Yes, we want Cerberus. I just know that once, uh, once I like watched, I don't know. It's just so hard to get back on the TV. Yeah, our, our guy's unstoppable. Like I think Netflix is like the closest. We can get it. It's got the warrior and this one eyed. Now we want items, to be honest. That sounds really good. We'll get another to- oh, or do we want this? We'll get another toxic staff. They do. It's kind of not only like distinct. Oh, this the be in the blue fairy. Yeah. Like, uh, what's the other one? There's one game that I see all the time on like being played now that I think is getting it. Tales of the Immortal. I believe that game is getting an English translation. So I'm pretty excited for when that comes around. We'll definitely give that a shot. I mean, I... Oh my god. Uh, amazing cultivation simulator. Oh, we can upgrade our mage. Let's go. Let's get the pyro. Or full damage here. Um, just because I love like cultivation esque novels. Like that game is pretty good. I think I, I've, I've worn myself out on it. Forward. You're hitting here, and you guys are here to heal. But like if I had never stumbled into. Oh no, we're going to lose a guy. Wait, is that the one that we spawned? Or. No, it's definitely the one that started the battle with us. Ow. 
I think I've just gotten so used to like Japanese anime style. Oh, uh, we probably should fill up our back line. That I just want something different. So I like searched around and that's, I found these like Eastern. Um, I also one thing to note is a lot, a lot more like Chinese and Japanese games like are just coming to Steam, just not like translated at all, which I, you know, is great. I mean, I'm sad because I can't play the games because I don't understand a separate language, but <laughs> it makes me hope that one day we'll see another language option or some, you know, crazy soul will go translate the game. Talking uh, another octopus, probably. Like what? There's, there's three big games that I play, or I mean, there was three. Amazing Cultivation Simulator got a. Uh... Yeah. That's a, the similar novel I fell down as well. And then <laughs> I think everyone's like, man, they suck. <laughs> like, uh, it's so funny. Tales of Demons and Gods is such a good like intro to the genre as a whole, but it gets such poor reviews because it's so generic. I mean, it's so hard. It's so hard to like aptly connect. I guess I, I'm trying to think of what makes me choose Got another population upgrade. Double of the same staff. Attacks deal 150% magic damage after casting an ability. Sounds pretty good. Also, these things got sucked away. Magic power. Yeah, give me stacks of poison. Who else is casting here? You cast. I also don't mind it. But people who you get to a point where like you've been overexposed. That's kind of how I felt with a lot of it's why I've been like taking a bit of a hiatus from like the most of the anime, the Japanese style anime and going to more like Korean and Chinese. Because you just start you start seeing the similar trends and it's real hard to like appreciate that you have too much of one thing and it starts getting a little bit boring unless you're northern lion playing binding of isaac what a mad lad <laughs> Well, it's hard because like writing is so difficult because I'd be very impressed if from the beginning when they wrote these initial animes, they had the entire story planned out. I'd be very, very impressed because I'm assuming that's, oh no, we could fight our own conch octopus. Yeah, but ours is stronger. Because at some point it's like, okay, I think maybe One Piece has had mentioned that they've like been had a, a general idea of where they wanted to go. More ginseng fruits. But still, that's just baffling the thing about. <laughs> I, I, I look up to Northern Lion. I definitely, for multitudes of reasons, but. Um, okay, resting up, we can sell probably, probably these, we probably don't need pixies anymore. I see the fairy, but I don't want the fairy. Oh, I should have sold the elemental. Whatever. Oh, uh, let's get more items. Gain two coins on kill for maximum set. That's a cool little item. What 
We should buy all our items now. Since we're kind of approaching the end game, let's get um get life on you. You don't really need the cast. Sure. Well, it's stats, right? Yeah, attack magic power. Project Boo. I have not heard of. There's so much stuff you just that exists out there. All it takes is diving down one weird little path and suddenly, <laughs> suddenly here's a whole like, uh, oh, it's a, here's a, here's something I love. I heard very, when I was younger, um, but stuck with me for a while. It's like knowledge is like an ever expanding circle and you are always, you always know how much is on the edge of that circle. Like that is your knowledge. And of course, all the stuff on the inside and the circle of knowledge just keeps expanding. And as it expands, you realize how much more and more there is as you learn more. And you realize how overwhelming some of the stuff can be. Right, right. I don't think it, I don't think it's fully appreciated. Um, but I think that the quote went along with like, and that's why, you know, the smaller knowledge circle you have, uh, <laughs> uh, the smaller knowledge, like the smaller your knowledge of circle, the, the more you're willing to be confident, right? Because, you know, you feel like, you know, a lot, but as for some people who've been doing this for a while, they're like, oh, they don't know too much. I mean, I've just taken it as a life idea to kind of live with that, like, put this on the blood fairy. It, it's really hard to just one day be like, yeah, I really don't know that. I try to, I try to always, I try not to, um, <laughs> like a peacock, show my feathers in terms of like, ah, yes, I'm so smart. I'm like, oh, I, I really, I really don't know that. Because admitting it, then you can just, then you're, you know, can learn something afterwards. I think so. I think, um... See, not a lot. I think we had this a similar conversation before. Yeah, yeah, it's the, um... There's a, there's a thing in sales that's called... I I'm, can't remember the name for the life of me, but I learned it when um when I was potentially gonna go. But yes, it is the the Dunning Kruger uh, into sales. But learn that same thing. We're like, ah, I know a lot. I know a lot. And then because you think you so much, you know so much, you start selling more poorly because you oversell. And then uh, so on and so forth. And then you slowly come back in the toxin. Look at this guy. We'll, uh, we'll grab the toxin. He'll, he'll just be another safety net. <laughs> so you have to go for at least in, in terms of the sales position, you go back to being stupid again. You're like, oh, I don't know anything. It's not it's not my job. <laughs> Get another pyro goblin. He does look kind of nice. <laughs> That's the, the, this is peak physique right here. <laughs> An ax, and then you're just a floating blob of, oh no, no, our octopus. He's so weak. Quickly, take a step back. It's your turn, Cerberus. Actually, we're resting. 
Never mind, you're fine, octopus. Oh, we can sell these sprouts. Since there's no way we're gonna get another tier three combo here. Yo. The Hemo Ring. Sounds good. We want the Shaman? Yeah, let's get the Shaman. Another, he's a healing tank. Heals a little bit, but also is a pretty solid tank. And we want Lifesteal? Ah, right, let's put on our Toxin. Hey, it's the final. We've made it. I'm actually pretty impressed. <laughs> also, look at this boss fight. How is this fair? Hey, look at that. Good, good win. It does have a ton of stats. I think, uh, I don't know what these say. Looks like... Yes, go to the, I think that was the one I wanted to click. So, hey, this is Legend Creatures. We're going to keep playing on, but I would highly recommend this game. Um, afterwards, you can go to... Uh, you can go to the textbook and upgrade some more stats with your monies. Uh, so I think I'm going to upgrade Hasted Effect, because that was fun. And it, it, wow, look at those buffs. Um, to my knowledge, I don't really know where the cap is for these. Like, these ones are small increases for these generic stats. Like 11%, nothing too crazy. Let's just, uh, I don't know what that said. I'm assuming this says, yes, this is being upgraded. <laughs> Perfect. So we'll do another lore on here. We'll see what the, um, so this was welcome. This is the, the starting difficulty. Now we, we go a little bit harder as the game tells us. And we can't go more. I'm fairly confident this says something along the lines of you have to beat the game at this difficulty before you're allowed to go further. So let's check that out. We'll change up our team comps a little bit. Can I? Middle. Something. I have no idea what that says. <laughs> uh, let's grab like the nun. We can grab. Oh, dude, the necromancer is a ton of fun. We'll, uh, we'll do almost an entirely new comp besides the maiden. And if you're particularly nuanced, which you can be, um, Yo, thanks for hanging on out. Have a good night. You can choose your items. I am not that good at this game yet. Let's, uh, let's go on again. We got two corpses. And we have a haste upon cast book. We'll do this elite battle. <laughs> and as always, I think experience is just too good. Experience lets you level up. Which is the most important, is you getting your levels. Oh, nice. Wow. Let's grab, uh, grab the archer again. I really like the archer. Then we'll grab an egg. <laughs> Look, NL. And then money's my next choice, usually. You start with the... You start with the item, which lets you kind of sneak ahead. Also, we got really lucky. <laughs> Grab the nun, the nun. Uh, I'll quickly read through these abilities as well. Uh, the nun casts arcane missile every, so she's, she's a spellcaster. The corpse um, inflicts burning and poison when he dies. And we had the, we had the wolf hound last time. And this guy just gets magic armor every five seconds Look at all these chests 
Oh, what? Hello. This is the upgraded uh, zombie, because here's is the zombie effect, but then resurrects once. Feels good, man. <laughs> we still don't have anyone to cat. Oh, look at all these, look at all these chests. We're going to be shafted on experience, but look at this. <laughs> See, the good thing, so this game also, just like Astronarch, you can save midway. <laughs> I'll go, I feel... It's, uh, this game is really fun. I, I was kind of, not like sad per se, but I was, um, I played Haiti and Tactics, which is a, a good little game, but it just didn't feel like there's enough for how, it feels like there could be so much more. So I, uh, I didn't want to stream it quite yet because I played through and beat the game once and I was like, well, this, like it's good. But, uh, this game... This game's a good one or two run. Yeah, we, we did win, but we've also increased our difficulty. And um, we are now on more of an, I think this first difficulty increase makes us more on an even playing field. Cause now we, besides this big bit of luck we had, we would be having about equal tiers besides the play of these small things. The, the hardest part of this game comes, I mean, you, you'll have a bit of knowledge going in, like items are pretty important. <laughs> Surprise, I, it's the game's like really simple looking and that's just, you know, that's all you really need for an auto battler. Let's, I mean, we did increase haste effect, so let's do it again. I mean, I'm not going to complain about, like, you know, a nice looking game, ever. Um, but ju it's just, you know, nice and simple here. Uh, we're going to actually grab the assassin this time. Well, goodbye, egg. Goodbye, NL. Actually, welcome back. <laughs> so the assassin, when the battle starts, blinks to the back line and then crits. So he's great for taking out those pesky mages which will be pesky and will have mages. Ooh. Give me the archer. We're kind of stacked on items right now. If we can get an early three star, we're gonna be, that's gonna be pretty good. Also he has range. It might not seem like it, but the thief has an extra bit of range. <laughs> Yo, we're so close. They're just fun. I don't... I just love them. I love watching the AI, like, you say, do this thing, and you hope the AI does it correctly. It just, uh... It hits a strategic bone. Oh, no. That, uh... That I just really, really enjoy. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, idol, idlers fall into that same genre. Like, I don't know, I've been playing so many idol games and I don't know why. Okay, so we have a healer or we can get the mage. Uh, I think we'll go with the priestess, get, get one healer for now and maybe later on we'll grab the, the mage side. How much healing was that? 50% magic power. So like 60 HP. It's pretty crap. Oh, let's go. That's so good. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, get her even stronger. Oh my god. 
And look at that crit. One shot that enemy. We this guy's I guess uh once he dies it'll be fine actually. Oh uh, yes, give you there's a lot of stats. Attack, magic power, lifesteal, magic vamp. Immune to one ability damage immediately in the fight, and then every 10 seconds after. Oh, did I never click this again? There we go. Let's optimize a little bit. Yes, you do keep your items if the person dies. Uh, also, if the person dies, you just lose HP. I don't know if you were there for that. But yes, there's no... Um, no, like, kind of punishment in the game. <laughs> it is... So, you know what? It didn't even cross my mind, but I do... I do like it. Look at the lifesteal going. <laughs> Let's keep uh, this path. Yeah, the, the other path is, I believe, for more of a tanky route. Prior luck, of course we are. Every time. You always do all of these. It's so good. <laughs> Summons a skeleton on kill. Hello. Oops. Oh, yo, I know what this is. That, uh, this right here. Oh, dude, I can read this whole thing. I mean, this literally says not enough population. <laughs> yo, my little bits of Japanese have pulled through. Because <laughs> they, they kind of overlap a little bit. Actually, give this to you. Actually, was this game Japanese? I actually don't know. It's very hard to, to tell the differences of the language. Because there's a lot of similar looking symbols. But I could read that. That felt really cool. <laughs> well, okay. I, I knew what it said, but... No hiragana or katakana in Chinese. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've been, uh, let's get the snake eel, I think. I've been trying this stuff. It's so hard. I think uh, each stack of measure all increases damage output. Nah, let's get the other guy here. It's so hard to try to learn another language. Just negate some magic. And let's go skeleton. Let's get more defense. I'll see. This is this is how I know this. This is person mouth, not foot. <laughs> and somehow that translates to, to not a population. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I've been having a ton of fun learning, but learning is hard. Yeah, I'm just impatient, which is such a weird thing to be the reason to learn another language. <laughs> like, I want to learn it now. Also, yeah, I am going to Japan sometime in the next few years, so I'd like to have some knowledge to it. Also, if I end up watching... Also, what? We had so many units? If I end up watching... I mean, I watch a lot of VTubers. So, I'd love to be able to actually, like, understand as well. Are you? You are. You should move back, though. So. I mean, thankfully, even just listening to the streams, like, I vaguely understand a little bit. 
What is this guy? Necromancer. Summons one corpse. On non-summon unit death, 60% chance to summon another corpse. That sounds horrifying. For me, it's just a, it's a time commitment. Um, when I was playing a lot of RuneScape, I was like, oh, I can just kind of like casually, you know, click on the screen a million times. And um, what do we got here? Four armed skeleton, I imagine, or a skeleton mage. Now let's get the four armed skeleton. Every four basic times deal one square. Inch. Oh, nice. Yeah, look at this guy. That's a cool little sprite. Uh, but while I was playing RuneScape, I could study. I use Wani Kani, which is like a self-study kind of uh, app that I paid for. Thank God it exists. Also, RuneScape grind. Fun, but I haven't played RuneScape. I, <laughs> everyone played RuneScape, and then we all took a break. And then I started streaming and like suddenly all my time was gone. <laughs> now I study at work when I have some downtime, but it's definitely, I'm definitely behind constantly. Oh, there's the upgrade. There's the ninja. Ninja's really scary. Thankfully, we have the life steal, but still. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna. I don't know what our plan is. I mean, it might be even delayed more because one of our friends recently got married and is now having a kid. Um, you know, changes changes the game a little bit. Uh, do I want cooldown reduction on anybody? Really? Not really. I guess we'll give it to the priestess? I'll oh, give it to the spirit. Actually, not. yeah. I mean, those plans might go on hold for a little bit, but... I think I definitely, we're definitely gonna be staying in the mostly city area. Who almost died there? Someone had really low HP. Oh, was that just a summon? That might've been a summon. Yo, another little cloth. And right now, all I'm learning is kanji for Jap Japanese. And even that, <laughs> I'm so far behind. <laughs> yeah. They're, uh... They're the, 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 right, yeah. They're the religious type, as in, like, you don't use protection because it'll be part of God's plan if you have a kid. And I was like, they're both, <laughs> both at university or uh, one's pursuing grad school and the other one's, uh, I, I think working. But I'm like, that's a, uh, like I get it, but like, come on, <laughs> I, you know what, can't have no opinion on the subject or like no uh, right or wrong. But I'm like, man, having a kid while you're still studying is gonna be very, very brutal. I mean, you know what? I'm probably gonna sell this baby dragon. <laughs> I imagine they might slow down after the first one. All right, let's buy the archer. Buy the maiden. Let's buy the nun. We'll buy 
We don't need that. What's this one? Ah, let's buy the daggers. We'll grab a, a Wind Ranger as well. We'll dip the spirit for now. I I don't know. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> he does gain some magical armor. So he's like a good against the uh, casters. And he also negates magical armor. Actually, he's a little bit tanky. He's the best that we've got. <laughs> right here. All right, last upgrade. I think it's just too powerful. I think the healing is so important. Especially at these later battles when things start getting tougher and tougher. I would like, uh, I might put the lifesteal on this guy. Now that he's off by himself. Is a snake eel, man. Snake eel, the snake eel. <laughs> Dude, I love, I love Tra- I'm so... I've played through so many, like, non-English games that have such, like, bad translations, but machine translations are so much worse that the small charm of, like, these translate ones is just... Uh, far superior. <laughs> Yo, a free legionary and another shield. <laughs> we didn't crack this either. Uh, let's give, wait, is this a hundred crit? 120 crit chance. I don't know how, if there's double crits or stuff in this game. Oh, also this infernal mage, like what a cool, like sprite. I'm looking to see if the crits go even higher. I think they're starting to get a little bit hairy. Also, I can't tell. Ooh, oh my God. Oh, look at this dragon. The ice dragon. Magic armor. Okay, it's the, the left path. Deal 200% damage to enemies that have the highest attack and magic power. It gives them 10 stacks of frozen. Interesting. I'm ready to see what that looks like. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yo, a shell drag? No, oh, look at this thing. It's like a turtle... It looks like it. It is like a turtle with a, an extra tail, an extra living, breathing tail. <laughs> Actually, I've never gone down too hard in the uh, the dragon, the dragon path. Oh, hey, Mercury, how's it going? Did we lose anyone in that fight. We have yet to lose anybody. Okay, we can get the minions, which I think is the attack or the arch angel. Or archangel. Heal three friendly units who have the lowest HP. Yeah, let's do more healing. Give you both these magical power things. I will want a legionary. <laughs> He's gonna die. But he'll be there. Alright, we can sell. We're not getting any dragons. Um, we have the fully upgraded 
wolf, so we don't need the small guys. I'm not gonna go multiple wolves either. Ooh, what is this? Blade of Tyranny. Four crit. Honestly, I wouldn't complain about another one of these. And that as well. We get a soul larn turn. <laughs> on death, on you to death, gave 35 attack this battle. That's crazy. I think the necromancer. The necromancer's fun though. We're gonna grab the necro. Yeah, it's gotta be uh, it's gotta be two of the same guy. It's basically like a match three. I'll look at the army. Legend. I think we'll get the uh, the big tanky guy. Yeah, double, every 10 seconds, double armored and magical armor stacks for all friendly units. He is, he's beef boy. I guess we actually do have the snake eel. <laughs> the necromancer has a 60% chance to summon on unit death. So we will, we will get an army. <laughs> Let's get the other spirit now. If we end up, or I don't think we'll get it in time, but we could get the other spirit that on death gives attack damage and they, they synergize so well together. The main advantage you have in this game is that your items tend to be a little better optimized than the enemies, but that's not always the it took me, honestly, I think the biggest hurdle to overcome initially was picking the right upgrades. Because, uh, <laughs> I think I, I, it might not look like it, but I did lose like my first four runs. Oh no, not my Wind Ranger. Never mind. Die. <laughs> Yo, so many nuns. Uh, ability? Do we even have ability? Oh yeah, we have the frozen. Grab you, and then we can. We could give this guy an additional resurrect. <laughs> oh, the swordsman is so good. But also, this guy's a forty percent chance to evade. Yeah, that's 100% crit. <laughs> Come to me. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, there he is. He's gonna... No, my Wind Ranger! Oh, you survived! Wow! I think the, the Archangel heal is uh, coming in real clutch. Gotcha! Ah, dude... <laughs> The, uh, I, this game's really good. I really, I really enjoy this game. I mostly wanted to show it off because I think I haven't seen too many people play this at all. Um, also, <laughs> cracked up. Everyone has a different discord name than their actual, besides Smelly. Smelly, if you're lurking, Thank you for having the same Discord name. <laughs> I'm already so bad at names to begin with. <laughs> I 
Okay, do we want the Shield Maiden? I think we want the, uh, Berserker. Yeah, let's grab the Berserker. We'll put her on the other side here. Oh my god, look at this elite battle. You ready to see this shit? <laughs> we're probably, we might lose this one, actually. Yeah, these ninjas are powerful. Yeah, no, it, dude, it's it's a hundred. I was just making a token fun, cause uh. <laughs> it's the thing I've noticed that you're you're a hundred percent fine. <laughs> Rest. Um, hmm. Do we have another? No, we can sell these legionnaires. They sold. It. Oh, uh, we want. Let's get a Cerberus this time. Oh, our population's max. Are we fully? Okay, Snake Eel. You're concealed. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, I'll I'll do my best to remember. Um, it just takes it. I for for some odd reason, I don't know why this is the case. Ooh, let's give you. Yeah, the cooldown. Oh, this is so good. But um. When I meet somebody, somebody new. HP? Yeah. And I don't like in the, I, they introduce themselves. The name goes in one ear and out the other. Uh, and I don't like, I never commit to memory because for the most part, when I meet somebody, unless like somebody new, I'm probably not gonna see them again. Like a random stranger or something. But like, once I'm a part of a group, I still won't like know their name, even once we've hung out like five or six times. And I'm definitely too embarrassed to be like, hey, what's your name? <laughs> After we've been, you know, talking and discussing like these deep meetings for, you know, maybe a day or two now. <laughs> So I will randomly eavesdrop and like somehow change the way I'm thinking or something and like hear the name and commit it to memory. Like I I look at the person I'm like, ah, I I recognize your facial features and like your body structure. I just don't know your name. And I like, I understand how you talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I do the same thing. <laughs> But then one day it'll just like click that like, ah, I've been hanging with this person for almost a month now. I should really know their name. And then I'll like eavesdrop in when their name gets used and be like, that's, and I never forget it from there. But like, there's that month period where I will meet somebody and unless they s do something crazy. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so genius. <laughs> I think I just live my life too much by the don't sweat the small stuff kind of thing. <laughs> you hemorrhage, you hemorrhage. Wait, there was something that dealt with frozen? Oh no, you hemorrhage. Let's give this to you. No, you're you're more of a you already heal yourself. 
let's pop this out. And give this to you. That'll work. Our HP is a little bit low. Do we have a shop? I, the shop are probably gonna buy HP. Alright, who do we dip here? I think we can dip probably the ninja for now. Ooh, what is this? You already berserk, so more berserk for your berserk. Yes! There are definitely some uh just like generic free assets that are placed in both games. I think uh, Astronarchs are a bit touched up, but uh, they're, like this is the, the Reckless Shield, this is the, the Crystalline, that's the Serrated Ripper. I'm assuming these different, this looks familiar even. <laughs> but yes, there's a little bit of crossover in the sprites used. <laughs> Or the item sprites, at least, not the character sprites. Like this is uh this is uh the the item that as you get minor buffs they become protected or something. Shoot. I still think the selling. Uh first of all, purchase lives. Alright, okay, here's the true test. D did our team comp do well enough. <laughs> Look at this mass up here. Let's slow this down too. Let's take this. Okay, we gotta kill her quick so they focus the swords. Oh my god, the swordsman. He's so, <laughs> so dead. Yo, the ice lady though. Hey, look at that. I'm going to click the other option. Oh, well, just so we can see our team comp here. How do I leave? <laughs> hey, look at that. Another little win. And then we'll go back. Um. So here you could see all the... Uh, Upgrades of the guys. Here's the new character, which I don't know. It looks like some sort of uh, devil demon kind of thing. Surprisingly, there are a lot of mods, not translated mods, but a lot of mods that aren't surprisingly complex. Oh, let's just upgrade this. Oh, that's the max. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what the max level is. It's like level six or something. And then you can go read through all the equipment and stuff and the, the list of status effects. So I think that's what we're gonna, we're gonna take a little shorter stream today. So tomorrow, uh, just a heads up, we will be probably having an two early streams. So tomorrow morning, we'll do some Astronarch challenge runs and I'll probably do some last epoch and then um, probably no stream in the evening tomorrow since we will uh i'll be going over to our friend's place and hanging out for them um so early stream tomorrow be aware of that if not you can always catch it on the later we'll be doing ash narc and last epoch hey as always oh please check this game out this game's a ton of fun would highly recommend it if you have any interest in the auto battler series um as always like comment subscribe do the usual stuff i appreciate you guys a ton i hope you have a fantastic evening and I'll see you all next time. As always, thank you for watching.